How you doing today? Doing good. good. My name is. Help you, sir. Well, my name is John. Okay, John. John Holmes. John Holmes. Nice to meet you, sir. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Well, I just got in town from Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. And I'm looking for a, a my father's first piece of silver. I'd like to either get him a coin or a round. Well, it looks like okay. you got a little yeah, bit of sure. everything in here. Yeah, we try we try to keep out a selection. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of hard right now to keep it in. I'm literally I order almost every single day from different refineries and wholesalers that I know. Just trying to keep it in stock right now. It's you know. Um, Pretty much everybody's, you know, scared of inflation, and so everybody's flocking to gold and silver. And I mean, it's like I'll get it in one day, and it's like it's it's out half the time. It's out the same day. It's it's crazy. And the only reason I have this much is because I just got my morning load in, right? You know, uh, about I'm, thirty minutes. I'm just in time. <laughs> you get yeah. You hit the nail on the head. That's for sure. Absolutely. I'm kind of interested. Now, I'm, I'm buying a piece. This is going to be my father's first silver piece, so anything will be cool for him. But for okay, me, yeah. I'm interested in these Canadian maples. That's okay. what I, I don't have. Okay. All right. You bet. Let's take a look here. we got the, yeah, Canadian maples. We've got the Canadian maples. Uh, a lot of people really like those. A lot of times, whenever you're buying from an hour eight, a lot of times, Generally, what you're going to get is the maple leaves and stuff. And what it is, is on a worldwide scale, so many people like them is because they're what we call 4-9 fine. In other words, uh, whereas everything else out here is 0.999 or 0.90%, like the constitutional silver, the maple leaves are actually what we is 4-9. They're 0.9999. And so... A lot of people like them. Another thing that I love about the Canadian maple leaves is they're all struck in what we call proof. In other words, so you, that's why you have, it's kind of like a two-tone almost. It's like you got your shiny part and then you got a little bit that's not quite as shiny. It's what we call a proof coin. And people love proof coins and the you know, the Canadian Mint, the Royal Canadian Mint, they, they proof them, and so they're just awesome, beautiful, well-made, well-struck coins, and I love them. So I just learned a lot right here. I'm, I'm so glad I came in here. So, well, we, appreciate, so we appreciate it. Every Canadian maple is a proof? So, well, not uh, if they come off. Now, they have special ones, okay? So there's actually different types, but the ones that are actually sold generally to the public are gonna be proof coins, yes. Very cool. Absolutely, absolutely. And they have a finer silver uh, content yes, than the American bit, yes, silver like, eagle? Yeah, I'll show you here. So like, for example, so the, so the American silver eagle, it's gonna be 0.999, so it's what we, it's three nine. And then the maple leaf is what is what we call four nine, which is 0.9999. It's not going to make a lot of difference. I think it's more of a psychological issue, to be honest with you, because that extra nine is really not that much, trust me. Uh, so, but it's more of a psychological thing, and so people love, you know, people love the maple leaves because of the four nines. Well, it's working on me Psycholo <laughs> psychologically. Right. I'm like, right. I, need the, I need the four nines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now, of course, we, you know, of course, we are in the United States of America. So, of course, you know, the favorite coin is by far the American Silver Eagle and the American Gold Eagle. Uh, and so, like, for example, in other words, there's a one ounce American Gold Eagle right there. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful coins, beautiful. So, of course, you know, living in the United States, we do get, you know, obviously a lot of people that love the, the American Gold Eagle and the American Silver Eagle, so I do sell a whole lot of them, make no mistake. Now, listening to you say that, I, it just dawned on me that I can't give my dad, his first coin cannot be a foreign coin. Right. I, need, <laughs> <laughs> I understand that, too. I, no, I will, I do, I think I'm going to take two things. I'm going to take okay. a maple for me today. Okay, yeah, and, sure. uh Let's find my dad an American Silver Eagle. Okay, okay. Well, I'll pull this tray out here. We got different years and in there, and so and and of course some of them have some patina on them compared to other ones. Of course, you know silver. Anytime silver touches air over a, over time, it's going to patina. That's just what it's a metal, and so that's what it's going to do over time. It's understandable. Absolutely. 
So are these all priced the same on this tray, or? Uh, all the ones in the, all the Silver Eagles in this tray, okay, the premium on those uh, in today's market, I'm at $12 over spot is where I'm at on those. Okay. Uh, of course, the you know, being that they're made in the United States and it is the number one you know popular coin in the United States, it's going to carry more of a premium than a lot of your other coins. Like for example, your Canadian maple leaf here, uh, that one there is going to carry what we uh, a seven dollar premium is what that's going to run. Okay. And what I mean by and what I mean by for example on the American Eagle, twelve dollars. I said twelve dollars over spot. Okay, well, spot is whatever the price is in today's market on the New York Stock Exchange. And so that's what we call a spot price. And then we have a premium on top of that. That's kind of where us dealers and stuff make our money from is, is the premium. Yeah, you got to keep the lights on. I got to keep, yeah, I got to I <laughs> uh -huh. tell people all the time, I got a wife and four kids. I got bills to pay just like everybody else. And so, that's completely understandable. Yeah, so that's, uh, and so that's where the premium comes in and <clears throat> Excuse me. And actually, uh, even whenever I order from a wholesaler, I actually have to pay a premium myself. A lot of times people think that, you know, people like me that are dealers, you know, that we can just get the silver for spot. It doesn't work that way. We actually have to pay a premium also. And so we just kind of add a little bit extra premium uh, on top of the uh, coin. Makes good sense. Mm -hmm. I've been around at a few shops already, and I think 12 over spots, not very, that's not bad. So, it's compa especially compared to online, uh, being a small local outfit, I try my best to at least be able to be with everybody else, and I try to be cheaper uh, than pretty much anywhere online, like your big guys, um, you know, some of your bigger guys out there that are online. I try to stay around at least 50 cents to a dollar cheaper than them, you know. Um, a lot of things is, you know, I guess a lot of people call us an LCS, which is your lo local coin shop. And a lot of people, we still get pretty good business because the simple fact that a lot of people that buy and invest in gold and silver, you know, of course, obviously it's tangible, you know, it's not like cryptocurrency, like you're buying air, you know, well, you might want to edit that out. <laughs> 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 but a lot of people... A lot of people like the fact it's it's tangible. It's it's withstood the test of time through inflation. It's tangible, and they can buy and walk out the door with it today. They don't. A lot of people that buy gold and silver and invest, they don't feel real comfortable with the online aspect, even though that's the world we live in today. A lot of people just don't feel comfortable. They feel a lot more comfortable with being able to buy it and walk out of the door with it and take it home with them that very day. They don't have to worry about it getting lost in shipping and all that stuff. And that's true. And to add a little bit about me, I, I'm a retired crypto poster boy. I mean, oh, I, okay, okay. I had just about every coin you can have and I was friends with some people at the very top levels and I was selling NFTs and making, oh, awesome. had a whole community. And then it all fell apart. I was involved with the FTX. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, so I'm sorry it all that. fell I'm apart. Sorry to hear that. But the whole, you know, the whole time I was buying crypto and doing this art, I was stressed out. It was just, it was nothing but stress. And then when I walked away from that and I bought my first few pieces of silver, I was like, this is, this is what it should feel like. I had right. something to show. Yes. I was confident that it wouldn't disappear in the middle right. of the night. <laughs> exactly. You know. I didn't have to worry about some guy taking it and loaning it away. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes, sir. And that's why so many people, I mean, I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Just the last, I've been in this business. I opened the store seven years ago here in Weatherford. And uh, I mean, we've been blessed. We've grown every year. But I can tell you right now, the last couple of years, I mean, I've literally had to move to whenever I file my taxes every year, I have to pay a franchise tax now. I mean, it's I'm literally dealing with that much, uh, you know, gold and silver bullion uh, to where I have to pay a franchise fee. I mean, it's just, I mean, I constantly getting new people in. Uh, old customers, of course, you know, keep adding to their stack, you know, because they're stackers. And so, 
they just keep adding and adding, and I get a lot of new people. Now, all the time. did you want me to show you how we test coins? Yeah, that was going to sure that that be my next question. Here. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Hold on, just a second. All right. So this is this is what we use whenever we test coins. Um, I mainly do it, you know, obviously as a shop because I, I, you know, I buy coins, you know, like for example, I just bought these two gold eagles, you know, just a few minutes ago whenever you were here. And so, <laughs> cool. and so, you know, obviously I need to know that those are real because, you know, gold, whenever it's trading it, you know, we're, we're almost hitting that $1,800 mark today per ounce, you know, and we pay whenever we buy coins, you know, well, I guess say we, you know, at least, you know, Holmes Gold and Diamond Exchange anyway, we pay a very fair amount as much as we can and still be able to make a little bit of a profit. And since we pay so high, you know, obviously we want that coin to be real. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and so this here is, uh, it's called a Sigma Metalletics Verifier. I, we just call them Sigmas in the industry. And so what we do here, and I'll show you how we test it here. So we turn the machine on. Okay. And then we're going to hit run cow. I'm put my readers on here real quick. Okay. So we can test gold on here. We can also test different types of silver on here. And you can even test platinum with this machine. Nice. So we're going to do, so what we're going to do, we'll do some silver first. Okay. Okay, so we, you have a choice of different purities. This is 99.99, so this is 4.9, so we can test our maple leaf on here. Very cool. So we'll hit run cow here, and it says place sample. So what we do is we take the coin, and we lay it right there in the center there. And, and as long as that block falls in between those brackets right there, that tells us that the coin is, that means it's good to go. We, we can buy or sell that coin. It is verified that it is a real 0.99.995 coin. Can this tell the difference? Now, if we put the eagle on there, will it tell us that it's not 4.9? Uh, well, let, let's see here. Yeah. You know what? I've never tried that, so... <laughs> So let's see what happens whenever we put an eagle on there since it's only 999. Wow, didn't even so take a second. It's one outside the box. Did not even take a second. Yep. That is cool. So what we'll do is we will put it over to 395 and then we'll put it on there. Oh, I forgot to hit run cow. Oh. I'm sorry. It's all right. All right. We'll hit run cow. Okay. And it says Ready, place, sample. It's in the, it's in the brackets. That is awesome. Okay. And um, and we'll just show you that there, there are fakes. Uh, you know, there is fake silver and gold out there, and we're fixing the proof. So what we right have now. here is this is a fake American Silver Eagle. Did someone bring this in here? Yes. To, wow. Someone brought that in. And then there's the back. As you can see, it's a it's a pretty good fake. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do is well, now we're gonna place it on the Sigma tester and see see how that arrow goes yeah, that way. It's not even not even, it's not not even, even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> and so whenever we get that arrow, that tell that tells us that the coin is no good, and we do not buy or sell that. That's <laughs> what that boils down to. Is this the only fake that has come in here do you, uh, do, you get, do you get them every once in a while every once in a great while not to be honest with you i mean i I'm probably very asked, you know at least a couple of thousand coins a month and most of the time there's not even one in there i might get one every three to six months and that's about it might be a different story if you were up in New York City or so something. They were very well. <laughs> <laughs> you might be three, three to four times a day. <laughs> very, well, about very well could be. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Wow. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for yeah. walking us through this. This was really yeah, you bet. educational and entertaining. You bet. Absolutely. And I love uh, to be, be able to help. That's, I've always looked at, you know, that's the biggest part of my job is education. I know where it's a long time ago. I'm also a certified gemologist. And that's one of the uh, thing, the main thing that our instructor taught us whenever we took gemology was, you know, the biggest part of being a, a gemologist, and I'm obviously a gold dealer and silver dealer too, but is to educate. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
Until next time, Daywalker out.